Alrighty, I guess since I've uh, been asked by a couple of friends to make a video about this phone, I'm going to go ahead and do kind of a, a review like I did for the Thunderbolt, but I'm going to do it for, well not Thunderbolt, excuse me, Incredible. And I still need to do one for the Thunderbolt. <laughs> I do still have that device, so I can do an overview for that as well. But this is going to be like a quick overview for my Galaxy Nexus. I'm going to kind of follow the same format as I did my last video, which is I'll start out with uh, around the edges just to give you kind of a layout of the phone. So first of all, on this right side, you got your power and lock, and then you have these dock connectors, which Verizon has not sanctioned a car dock like mount to use these things, which I would like to get one. Um, there is one for the GSM version, but I don't know if I should just buy it and see if it's going to fit or not Because I don't want to just waste money on that And then at the bottom down here 3.5 millimeter headset jack your microphone and your micro USB. I'm gonna go to the left You just got a volume rocker and The screen I'm sure you can kind of see it. It is a little bit curved Which is just nicer. It's supposed to hug your face a little bit better, <laughs> you know some kind of gimmick but it is a nice little touch to the phone makes it a little different there's nothing up here on the top this is the spot where you open the battery cover there's a noise cancelling mic up here 5 megapixel camera with LED flash Verizon branding and your speakerphone and I think that's it for the outside um, there is a notification LED down here you can't see it unless you have a notification, but it's a little circle that'll light up. Um, and you got your earpiece, and there's some sensors you can kind of see, and then your front-facing camera. Um, let's go ahead and get into the phone. Yeah, I got security. Hang on. The pattern. And this is just your run-of-the-mill kind of ice cream sandwich ROM. I haven't really done anything else to it. I have rooted it. And I'm uh, unlocked it, excuse me. And I've put, well, I can go ahead and show you. AOKP. This is build 22, I believe. Yep. Build 22. Ice cream sandwich. I'm using IMO Seans. Experimental kernels, because I really like his kernels. I've used his kernels in the Thunderbolt. And they were just phenomenal. So I've stuck with him. He's a good guy. And, um,. Uh, that's about it. I don't really have good service as you can kind of see. There will be bars. You can see it's got 3G, but there will be bars if I have decent service. And with this ROM I've hidden the battery and I'm just using the battery bar up top. Because I don't really worry about, you know, how much exact percentage I have. So, yeah, that's the settings stuff. I can kind of go into this uh, ROM control. Just to give you like a quick look at it, this is what all you can kind of customize from you know the UI to the navigation bar, which is down here, which I've changed the colors just to the blue color. And that's another thing with Ice Cream Sandwich, having these as a virtual key instead of uh, capacitive hard keys down here is so much nicer because as soon as you you know power off the screen, it just looks smooth and flat like I can. I mean an entire black surface hides everything and that's what I like so you know it just gives it a nicer feel and a nicer look makes it look like a, an awesome device because <laughs> it is one and here's the rest of the little customization things and I can show you kind of what I'm running right now I have not overclocked it this is still the stock 1.2 um, gigahertz processor but I've Enabled this slot at 230 MHz just so it can run a little lower when I'm not using it And I'm using kind of a, a nice little governor which can turn off the um, One of the processors if the load is low enough, so it saves you on battery there And other than that I think that's it for the uh, Customizations for the ROM and I've just got like the regular background and everything else like that. I haven't really customized the screen but these are basically the same apps I had on the uh, Thunderbolt and the Incredible almost. <laughs> Just a few differences. The launcher, I'm still using a stock launcher. I'm not using Nova or anything. 
and it's just nice. It slides left to right as usual, and then you get into your widgets and all that. So, so far so good. I've really enjoyed Ice Cream Sandwich, and um, just the experience has been really nice. And I guess that's about it for the device. I mean, I would definitely recommend, recommend this phone, especially if you're in 4G um, coverage. I mean, yes, it is kind of a battery hog, but it will be an amazing experience. I mean, just with the speeds. This phone has been, you know, pretty decent when you're on a 4G network, but there's still that battery hog factor. <laughs> so yeah, that's about it for this phone. I mean, if you had any other kind of questions about it, I can do another video and just answer them on that. But yeah, so this has been, I guess, a quick overview for the Verizon Samsung Galaxy Nexus. Thanks.